Hey, what's happening, everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at one more here from Sierra Nevada. I believe this is the last one that I have from the Beer Camp Across America collaboration series. So this is the Family Values Imperial Brown Ale. Again, with this series, Sierra Nevada collaborated with various brewers on this one. It is August Shell Brewing Company, Dark Horse Brewing Company, Half Acre Beer Company, Perennial Artisan Ales, and Sun King Brewing. Um, on the label, it talks about this rich and malty brown ale ratchets up the flavor with the use of complex roasted malts, honey, oats, and nutty Minnesota wild rice, finishing with a chocolate cake of cocoa nibs and then on the back side family values showcases the cooperation and kinship of midwestern brewers it features largely midwestern grown ingredients minnesota wild rice indiana honey missouri oats michigan hops and cocoa nibs from illinois as well as sierra nevada's estate grown malt this is our centrally located collaboration celebrating the best of the midwest so there you got it. That's how they put together this little brown ale. Let's go ahead and get it open and get into a glass. ABV on this one, 8.5% and also 35 IBU. So the brown ale into the glass, as you can see, didn't give much of a head, just about a finger of head. When I get it to the light, it's actually pretty much a jet black color. Can't see really through it. The head itself is a nice tan head um we'll see if it leaves some lacing on there from what's left but um nothing else really to talk about much on the appearance because we can't see inside of it i get hit initially with some of that cocoa that they talk about it's kind of got like a dark fruit feel to it as well very reminiscent of something that would go up more along the lines of a a darker stout like the one i did previously from them or maybe like towards a um barley wine with a little bit of the dark fruit. I feel like I get a little bit of a sweetness, kind of like a caramel type sweetness. But definitely get that coffee scent. The head is actually pretty much all gone. So it did dissipate pretty quickly there. And then maybe that sweetness where I'm kind of like caramel, maybe that's what they're talking about with the honey, but to me it smells more caramelish than honeyish. And I don't know, I may have just made up a couple words there, but who knows. As far as the taste, that's what really matters, right? Great open and mouth feel. Nice flavor. Wow, gets right to the tongue and jumps right into like the cheek area. Causing the kind of that chewiness sensation. Sits well on the palate. Not too over carbonated. Nice on the tongue. For an 8.5 ABV, there is a little bit of a thinness that I wouldn't expect to be in there but it goes down easily on the back end not as dry on the finish not really any harshness for any type of bitterness type effect so if you're not a fan of bitterness you don't have to really worry about it as much with this one it kind of has a nice little refreshing type quality with it now it is a little bit more of a medium to full body beer so it's not like you would want to go through a, a few of these, especially at the higher ABV, but to sit back and put your feet up, you know, fall season, fireplace, or smoking a cigar, you know, whatever it may be, kicking back. It's definitely one you can actually relax in. Not really tasting the alcohol as much, so alcohol is nicely hidden on this one. Maybe a tinge on the back end, but I do like the feel going down. It goes down without any issues. Definitely hits the style for what you would want for like a brown ale, and in this case, an imperial. So you're ramping up the ABV a little bit. Texture is very nice on it. Just a nice, relaxing type beer you can sit back and really enjoy. Definitely a very enjoyable beer. So I would definitely say check this one out. This is the Family Values from Beer Camp across America, the Imperial Brown Ale. If you're a Brown Ale fan, I would definitely give it a try. With that being said, if you get a chance, check it out. It's very solid. 
Um, people that like brown ales can definitely get into it. And people that also like some of the things like porter or stouts can also probably enjoy it as well. Um, don't have to worry about any of the hopping or bitterness like I mentioned before. Initial bitterness like you get on many beers to the tip of the tongue. But after that, kind of smooths out very nicely. You can sit back and enjoy it. So there you have it. Thanks for swinging by. Check out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw. So please remember to like and also subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Especially if you had this beer, let me know what you think about this one as well. So with that being said, I look forward to catching you on the next one. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers. <laughs>